another breaking input relevant to the statements that have been made by Congress MP Rahul Gandhi on international soil. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, who has interacted with Indian diaspora besides students and faculty at universities during his visit to the United States, also met US lawmakers. Now, BJP has targeted Rahul, saying that after spewing venom against six and running down India on a foreign soil, now Rahul Gandhi meets and engages with anti-India Ilhan Omar. Now, these are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground, a set of... Uh... Well, now let's hear out what the Congress MP actually had to say. ...has done the unthinkable, meeting anti-India elements like Ilan Omar. Ilan Omar got a resolution against India and the US Congress. Ilan Omar has been spewing venom against India on Article 370. She visited POK, violated India's sovereignty at a time and that too sponsored by Pakistan. She met Imran Khan and discussed Islamophobia. She routinely pervades and perpetrates Hindu phobia and Hindu hatred. She takes a position which is contrary to India's position on Jammu Kashmir and backs the Pakistani position. Why does Rahul Gandhi have to meet her? But this is nothing new. Congress in its Modi Virod, in its BJP Virod meets anybody and everybody, even if they are indulging in Desh Virod. This is the true face of the Congress, not the first time that they've done this. But the question is only this, that Priyanka Chaturvedi of the Uddhav Sena had said that this Ilan Omar is an element that one should be wary of. She had called her out. Now, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Uddhav Sena, do you support this meeting of Rahul Gandhi with Ilan Omar? Perhaps you should elaborate. This trip of Rahul Gandhi is nothing but a trip that is designed to rally anti-India forces only and only so that Rahul Gandhi can satisfy his lust to come to power. How can you go so low where you stand with elements like Ilan Omar? Well, joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Aman. Very good morning, Aman. BJP labeling Ilan Omar as anti-India. Do you think it's important for Indian politi politicians to engage with foreign lawmakers in that context, including those who may hold differing views to promote dialogue and understanding? Uh, well, Kohina, see, the BJP has been strongly attacking various facets of Rahul Gandhi's ongoing trip to the United States. And, you know, this is the latest controversy, which is now BJP is flagging off Rahul Gandhi's meeting with Ilan Omar. And Ilan Omar has been, a, you know, has been a person who has been uh, st steadily uh, moving anti-India resolutions in the U.S. Congress. She was also made public her position against the abrogation uh, of Article 370, as the BJP spokesperson was saying. She had also visited POK on a trip sponsored by Pakistan, allegedly, which India saw as a violation of India's sovereignty. She's been meeting uh, the likes of Imran Khan and also instrumental in peddling hatred against the Hindu community. That has been the BJP's claim. And Rahul Gandhi's meeting now with Ilan Omar on U.S. soil, obviously, is getting uh, those brickbats from the uh, BJP that why is Rahul Gandhi on his trip to the U.S. engaging with such anti-India radical elements? And is this, uh, uh, is this something that could have been best avoided? And this comes on the back of other controversies where uh, Rahul Gandhi's uh, statement on the Sikhs has been um, backed by Sikhs for justice, you know, by Pannon, who is uh, a wanted criminal for India. And yesterday, Mr. Hadeep Singh Puri at his press conference had in fact said that why is Rahul Gandhi speaking the language of Pannon? And uh, is he meeting him? Uh, Mr. Puri had also posed that question. And now today, we have uh, these pictures of Rahul Gandhi meeting with Ilan Omar and the BJP you now going after Rahul Gandhi on his utterances as well as his, uh, what BJP says are questionable meetings uh, with anti-India elements on U.S. soil. Right, Aman, uh, the BJP has also been accusing Rahul Gandhi of spewing venom against Sikhs and it is a very serious allegation. But with the statements coming in, how does all of this align with the political uh, structure, especially pertinent to uh, the Indian uh, soil? Well, see, uh, Kohina, obviously the statement that Rahul Gandhi made on Sikhs uh, yesterday that Sikhs in India would not be able to wear their turban or would not be able to wear their kara or visit Gurdwaras uh, in the BJP regime, that statement obviously has been uh, castigated by everybody uh, in the uh, in the BJP camp. And uh, in fact, senior ministers of the BJP came out openly to castigate Rahul Gandhi on the same, in fact, citing how right. Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself mm -hmm. has been with, uh, wearing the turban 
on many occasions visiting gurudwaras and you know has uh, done a lot for the Sikh cause right uh, i'm, I'm, India, I'm so obviously. sorry to cut you across uh, we have uh, bjp's rp singh joining us on the broadcast a very good morning uh, mr singh thank you so much for speaking to cnn news 18 well a couple of statements coming in from congress mp and leader of opposition especially on the foreign soil what is your party's stance with the uh, serious allegations that you guys have been leveling against him well she is a one uh, who has supported abrogation of uh, she has voted i mean she has gone against the abrogation of 370 she has been supporting the uh, islamophobia in india she has been supporting all those who are successionists in india she has a back record of supporting all those who want to divide india and then she has taken stand against the government of india and now rahul gandhi meeting him after saying that uh, sikhs are not allowed to wear turban and and kala and then not allowed to go to gurdwaras in india right this clearly shows that this is part of a bigger agenda it's not simply meeting or issuing statement this is part of a bigger conspiracy which is probably been hatch abroad to defame india to demean india and uh, he need to come clear on this that why he has been issuing statements because i have been told his statement has been as i said yesterday his statement has been picked today by the sick for justice and now uh, meeting her also this clearly shows that there is a bigger game plan behind it right mr singh having said that there is a bigger game plan behind all of this how does your party actually reconcile its criticism of rahul gandhi's meeting with ilan omar with the indian government's own engagement with the us government of which omar is already a part of well that is the official engagement i mean i mean if she is part of it that's separate but as a individual meeting her as a leader of opposition meeting her mean something else i mean she is part of some some uh, committee of the uh, us uh, administration there's a separate point but as i'm saying i mean as i said on your show yesterday uh, in jaka show and said that this part is part of bigger conspiracy that whatever he is doing abroad he is using the foreign land to create some sort of dissent here to create some sort of trouble in india Right thank you so much Mr Singh for joining us on CNN News 18 uh, well Aman Sharma continues to stay with us on the broadcast Aman we just heard BJP's RP Singh uh, criticizing those comments and especially the meeting uh, of uh, Congress leader with uh, Omar now uh, how do we perceive these statements coming in from BJP especially against the statements and the meeting of our leader of opposition Asi ko hina obviously the Congress party would here say that Ilan Omar you know is a is a US US representative for the Minnesota's you know fifth congressional district since 2019 she's a member of the Democratic Party she has served earlier in the Minnesota House of Representatives till 2019 as well so in a way Rahul's meeting with you know US lawmaker and she was a part of it so the Congress would say you know he's meeting a series a range of uh, US lawmakers during his trip but obviously the BJP would question the choice of these lawmakers who were a part of that meeting and Ilhan Omar given her public stand against uh, abrogation of article 370 or against other issues moving a resolution in the US against uh, Indian policies obviously is seen as an India better and Rahul Gandhi's meetings with uh, such people obviously will come under a political attack in India and this comes as uh, Mr RP Singh was saying just after his yesterday's comment on Sikhs which has been picked up uh, by the extremist organization Sikhs for Justice whose uh, head Pannun is a wanted a criminal for india and he is backing uh, rahul gandhi's comment on six trying to give it more oxygen which the bjp says that comment was completely false and out of line and does not depict the reality of sikhs in india at all so all these uh, controversies i think are combining into what is uh, making this trip extremely controversial right but uh, aman help us also understand with the uh, common statements and allegations coming in from bjp how does uh, uh, bjp plan to reconcile these statements especially with the political arena and uh, with the uh, the criticism of rahul gandhi meeting with ilan omar with the indian government is in its own engagement with the us government of which actually omar is already a part of how is the indian current government looking forward to deal with this conflict 
See, obviously, she is a part of the U.S. lawmaker uh, community. So, obviously, when Rahul Gandhi met her as a group, India, uh, India also engages with the U.S. on all diplomatic levels, and the Prime Minister would be headed to U.S. in a in a few days to address uh, to be, attend the UNGA and amongst other events, meeting top U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, Premier and the.